Let's go check out what Chris Hansen built. And then of course, we gotta go check out what Ed Blue, the pond professor did. Are you guys ready to see some more cool projects? We're obviously at Foul Mouth Farm. <laughs> oh my God. Wait till you see this. We've got Ed, our comrade over there. He's sent out the beacon that he needs help. You know, I saw his little- The Pond Professor Pond Professor lo logo up in the sky over there. <laughs> I've never ever wanted to be an otter so bad in my entire life. <laughs> you and me hey, both. Yeah. You could be Callie, I'll be Ollie. I want to just be my own otter. <laughs> the hell's Callie and Ollie? We are going to build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. <laughs> What's today? It's Friday? Friday, day two with our three ponds in two days. And here's what I know. Chris is done. We are this close to being done. And Ed is this close to being done. <laughs> I think we're out of here by noon. Let me show you what we've done. And then I can't wait to fire this baby up. Then I can't wait to take you over, see what Chris did. And then more importantly, let's go see what Ed did over there. The pond professor. So you can see water continued to fill last night. We're getting up higher and higher. We've got to get rock and gravel around this stuff. We use these aqua blocks as pedestals to get these things up a little bit higher. The whole reason we did that is just aesthetics because that water is gonna come up, you know, quite a bit up the side of this guy here, that one there, and about there on that one. Over here, we got Luis and Jason and everybody getting the pumps ready. I think we're actually gonna turn those on just so we can see what the flow looks like coming out of them. Heck, we could fire everything up and just let it run. It kind of sucked to do the urns with them on, but <laughs> We've got a water truck coming, so we'll get all the way up to the top. Things are definitely moving in the right direction. I'm saying three hours and we're done. But if gravel doesn't get here, every minute it's late, we'll be late. High quality H2O. <laughs> this is the last piece to our puzzle. We've been waiting for this water truck all morning. He's here. He's a little late, but no big deal. We're gonna add this water. That thing will get uh, filled up and then we'll get that thing turned on and see what it looks like. We finished end of day two, not even, right? Halfway through day two, but we finished everything we came here to do. We got our rocks in, we got our gravel in, the water truck came. You guys, on the other side of this wall is an unbelievable water feature. We're about to show Sam and his 90 year old mother what this looks like and how we converted a tired old swimming pool into an unbelievable aquascape ecosystem. Come on in. Huh? Pretty awesome, right? Just imagine what this was like. So for years, this was a green cesspool of a swimming pool. And in about a week, this thing will be spotless. And in a couple of months, more plants are gonna come in, turtles are gonna come in, fish are gonna come in and totally transform this entire backyard 
into what would be, to me, a vacation spot anybody would pay money to be by. <laughs> Hope you like it. Let's get everybody back in, all the people that helped us create this. I'd love to take credit for it all by myself, but we had 20 some contractors here all busting their butts to do this. Let's get them all back in here. Let's go get Sam, let's get his mom and see what their reaction is. Okay, okay. come on, mom. Oh. We're, not, we're, gonna take oh. we're gonna turn them on later. Hi, mom. This is the man. This is the man right Hi, here. Mom. This is great. Oh. He's the man that made this happen. Now, when you look out the window, you don't have to see that green, ugly pit pool. No. Right? <laughs> what do you think? I think it's nice. You like that sound? Yeah, I want to put plants. A hundred percent. I love this woman. She wants to put plants. Okay. And we'll put a lawn chair right there. You can go lay in the in the water and just soak in the sun. I don't want to die. <laughs> so my mom is 90 just in November. Aww. And she's lived with me about 14 years since my pop died. So that's her room. That's where she lives there. And she's always looking out at the pool. And it went bad a long time ago. But she watched the other animals and she watched the duck and everything like yeah. that. Yeah. And oh, I, the ducks are going to love it. I yeah. know. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you think about all this activity that these young guys were doing? Were you watching out your window? <laughs> Pretty crazy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, we love to introduce you to Welcome to Living the Aquascape Lifestyle. Hey, guys. How about a hand? Sam, hey, Unbelievable. it was an honor, man. Oh, it, it was an amazing. honor doing honor this. Honor having you guys come over. What <laughs> an amazing job you did. You know, now we have the ducks we're putting in here. We're putting koi in here. And this is an amazing water feature with sound and light and everything. From this point, this is only a foundation, but we get to put some lily pads in. We get to put some aquatic plants in and everything. It really will make it come alive. Here, you start off with a, a great foundation, a filter that you don't have to clean. Yep. No more trips to every week getting chlorine and deep. <laughs> with all of that and now I, I get another project decorating this making this really come to life I, I think it's just amazing do you know how I know every day like we have customers and you can tell that what we've done is done and it's gonna be up to us to maintain it and make it look good and then we have customers like Sam and I know because of the energy that Sam's talking about this right now and saying stuff like this is just the foundation yeah he's already getting excited about the lilies and the papyrus and all these different plants yeah and creating nesting areas for turtles and right. stuff back in here yeah. like I think when we we're back here in about a year or so this place is gonna look unrecognizable because yeah. Sam's gonna take it to a whole different level, yeah. which is what it's all about, right? Yeah. You said yeah. it best. This is the foundation, and now you get to decorate it, Yeah, right? You're decorating on a foundation that's gonna be there for, for the rest of my life. You know? so, <laughs> I can see you swimming in here. Yeah, right? we have swimming every intention, with the fish we have every intention <laughs> on going over there. It's just like going out in a canal or something. As kids, we used to do that all the time, you know? So, this will be a nice place to, to, to enjoy that again. We're thinking about where we're going to set up chairs. Yeah. You know, we have to move the garbage. We're going to put chairs in front. We're going to get lights. Maybe we put a barbecue. Yeah. You know, yeah. The whole See, thing. You can tell it's going to be to awesome. Life, I know? can't wait. Hey, Sam, I had oh, so been, much uh, fun uh, out I here. You're a great. wealth of knowledge and all Thank the tortoises you. and the iguanas and stuff. I'm glad you appreciate it. Thanks Super so much. Super fascinating. Yeah. I can't wait to see you again. Yeah. All right, man. All Take right. care, man. Take care. What an awesome experience. I hope you guys enjoyed it. But I feel like I've been locked up into this exhibit the entire time. And remember, there's those other two projects. So let's go check out what Chris Hansen built for Chris. And then, of course, we got to go check out what Ed Blue, the pond professor, did. Are you guys ready to see some more cool projects? Three projects in two days. We made it, we're at Chris's job site. Now here's what I know, just through word of mouth, people have said, not only is the water feature incredible, but the guy's gardens are insane. And I'm already just excited just walking into this place. It looks like we could spend some time just enjoying the landscape, but let's go check out Chris's feature over here. We're obviously at Foul Mouth Farm. <laughs> I hear it. Oh my God, it's perfect. God, the, and the plants just make it. It looks so, Awesome. You guys, wait till you see this.
You killed it. It wasn't me. It was it was the it's whole group. Awesome. We had an amazing oh. group. Look at that setting. What was the hardest part? I think the, I think the digging conditions were probably the biggest challenge. Fortunately, we had 30 sets of hands here. When did you hit it? About six, seven inches down. <laughs> Just enough to be annoying then. Yeah, the excavation slowed it down. We would have been done a lot sooner, but I think what it did was is because it took forever for it to dig, it allowed that much more time for questions and that kind of stuff. So it was it was good. You know what makes it awesome? It's not it's not obviously the just the urns. Like I love the positioning of them, but it's the backdrop. Like having it already fully landscaped just looks so amazing. Yeah. It's really cool. You know what I like about the scalloped urns too? Like we don't usually use the scalloped urns. You don't see the seams. It looks like one big giant piece. Yeah. Where all the other ones, the way they lock yep. together. And I think they, I think the color of them is The nice. color of them in here really? works perfect. And I like the rounder edge yeah. here because it hugs this a little bit more. Where the other one, when it drops, it splashes. Yep. Once again, man, you nailed it. I absolutely love it. I think what I like so much about your project too is it is the fullest potential, mm -hmm. right? And you know Chris is gonna take it like even further as yeah. it comes in and landscapes it and stuff. Mine doesn't look complete, right? When I'm talking with Sam over there, he's got a foundation to work off of, but it needs lilies, it needs plants. He should probably rip out the pool deck and bring landscaping in a little bit closer. Here's the backdrop is like phenomenal. We've got Ed, our comrade over there, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> he is, uh, I can only imagine with the amount of work that we saw he had in front of him a couple days ago when we broke apart. Yep. Yeah, I think we should go check on him. He's sent out the beacon that he needs help. <laughs> you know, I saw his little the Pond the Professor, Pond Professor lo logo up in the <laughs> sky over there. <laughs> well, hey, two done. Two done. Nice job. One more to go. And uh, like always, we'll help Ed get to the, the final. There's no I in team, yeah, Brian. There's no I in team. Is there an I in me? No. No. <laughs> Go ahead, you go ahead. No, I mean, I no, no, I'll go. <laughs> here's what I so know. So, anyways, <laughs> here's what I know. People on day one said this was never gonna happen, and I don't know if you remember, but over at my build, I said Ed's never failed to meet a deadline. And from my understanding, this thing's done, which means we don't have any more work to do. <laughs> I wanna go see it. Yeah, come with us. Super B. Everybody he's, got, he's got his posse. Show us what you did. <laughs> Super Come on. Man. Let's go. <laughs> They're bringing in a little bit more dirt. We got to grade stuff out this way, but that's outside of everything. What? What? People are still working and you're drinking a beer? Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, that's it's, delegating, right? That's, it's, that's a good thing. It's only Jack. Oh, only Jack. It is only Jack. <laughs> uh, that's cool now that's sexy oh. it'll be cooler when the water's clear you can visualize ball. that log going in there and oh that's badass it oh that's awesome i like that that rock yeah. with just the water there yeah. the diffuser for them to wallow in where's the diffuser just underneath that, that log. and the liner comes underneath the behind it all. turf and yep. stuff Oh, you still got some tricks. <laughs> you still got tricks. You know, a lot of times in your old age, you start missing stuff like that, you know? I'm like a that fine wine. Cool, yeah. More like a cognac. You get better and better with age. You're more like a <laughs> leftover gallon of milk, but... <laughs> I've never, ever wanted to be an otter so bad in my entire life. <laughs> you and me both. Hey, yeah. You could be Cali. I'll be Ali. I want to just be my own otter. <laughs> Who the hell's are those the otters? Those are the well, otters. <laughs> Who the hell's Cali and Ellie? Yep. Yeah. Ed, what was what was the hardest part? Like, I'm just looking at it, and I would say logistical. <laughs> oh yeah, like, pinch point. Yeah. I mean, we got fence here, building here, fence on that side, building over here, getting everything in here, hitting bedrock, building all the grade up. Logistics, getting in stone, deliveries, glass panel, all right, but also... I just, I, all right, it was hard. It was, it was okay. hard. I mean, but, but it's also three dimensions. I mean, Florida's yeah. so flat. It's like they're building up and you're thinking of... Like, we're always thinking of water levels, but now when you have a glass panel, you're looking through it. So all that rock work and all that stuff underneath had to be tight as well. You know, almost like we're doing yeah, a yeah. waterfall underwater. Yeah. You know, it's like we had to make sure all those joints were tight. Um, 
do you care about how our days went? <laughs> <laughs> I would assume he does it. Yeah. There's only one well, beer. And I moved 100 tons of stone by hand. Right? Oh. Really cool. Very cool. You guys want to see how this was done, you know where to go. <laughs> Ed, the Pond Professor, every Saturday at 9 a.m. What are they supposed to do? Like, do. oh, like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, that whole <laughs> thing. Yeah. Oh, never, head of social media don't over tune here. Tune in next time. Okay? <laughs> yeah, let's just do that. Yeah, let's cut it there. We like ponds. Ponds are cool. <laughs> <laughs>